Um, we were hiking through some pretty thick grass here. Uh, we startled her or him, I'm not sure. Adrenaline-fueled moments for Tyler Johnson, emotional, as the 32-year-old who was raised on the Kenai Peninsula talked about recording this video. And then it went straight to me. And... Near Cooper Landing, hunting with his dad on Resurrection Pass Trail. The moments recorded right after the brown bear mauled him. I was falling backwards at this time. It was like getting hit by a train, right? And uh, my feet went over my head. It uh, put its uh, teeth into my calf as I was falling backwards. But right when I was falling, I mean, he hit me at the same time I got my gun out. And when I was falling backwards, I believe that's when I shot myself in the leg when I'm flying backwards. Thankfully, when I was falling backwards, I was able to unsheath my pistol. And when he was on top of me, absolutely unload like a <laughs> on top of this guy. Um, so did I. So did my father. Tyler says that meant unloading seven rounds from his 10 millimeter handgun. His dad finished the bear off with a 40 Glock. But I don't want to speculate if bear spray would have worked or not. In that moment, I, I, I had only time to react to, to a bear jumping on top of me. Um, and I had a 10 millimeter. And um, I would not go hiking without that 10 millimeter again. Knowing all that, there is a twist of fate. Tyler's dad is an Alaska wildlife trooper. He was able to quickly get help to his son. Tyler said he and his dad are always prepared and he feels he would not be telling this story of survival if he had gone hunting alone. Uh, having a good partner uh, and going through how to operate in reach, going with the trauma kit, not just the, you know, that little red thing you get from Walmart that has Band-Aid and mule skin in there, you know, like that works, you know, for, you know, I fell and, you know, cut myself a little bit, but that trauma kit, I remember looking at it that morning and say, don't be lazy, put that in there, you need it. You don't know if you need it, you know, prepare for the worst. As he's now lived another day to tell about being prepared for the worst, Tyler says he'll never stop hunting and hiking. We like getting away. We like being up in the mountains. We like being back in the glaciers. We, we like just experiencing what Alaska, I mean, it's Alaska, right? You gotta take advantage of it. A love for his home state, the driving force. After a terrifying bear encounter, he says that love is what carries him. John Thompson, Alaska's news source.